the team's name is Autopier with the title Clean Ocean Through Gabi's Record Database. Okay, please give a big hands. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Team Utopia. The title of this presentation is Clean Oceans Through Garbage Record Database. As you can infer, we would like to address the issue of marine litter. The presentation is composed of three parts. Introduction of issue, analyzes the structural problem that exists, and lastly, our proposal. I, as the first presenter, will guide you through the first part. Marine litter is not a new problem. It has been with us for longer than we can conceive. Unfortunately, both the speed and quantity of litter entering the sea has tremendously increased over the years. According to the recent study, the pile of trash in the Pacific Ocean, known as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, is now three times the size of France. In addition, the report found that 70% of marine litter is non-degradable plastic, which is projected to be thriftful until 2025. Acknowledging that the important source of marine litter is shipping, it is vital to efficiently and effectively control garbage generated on board for marine environment. The International Maritime Organization mission is to promote safe, secure, environmentally sound, efficient, and sustainable shipping through cooperation. Under the mission, the MARPER Annex 5 regulation for the prevention of pollution by garbage from ship has entered into force in 1988. Today, more than 150 countries have signed up for MARPER Annex 5. By the definition of MARPER Annex 5, category of garbage include plastic, food waste, and incinerator ashes. There is a clear distinction between different types of waste, which are separately defined by other annexes in MARPOL. Today, we are focusing garbage that is addressed by MARPOL Annex 5. Currently, the IMO has what we call the three pillars of garbage management regime. The first is advanced notification. Ships are to notify the ports of call on the types and quantity of garbage that is subject for disposal at port. This notification is recommended to be made at least 24 hours before arrival. The second is garbage record book and garbage management book. It is mandatory for ship to plan how they are going to manage garbage on board by necessary procedures. In addition, it is an obligation to keep record of information regarding garbage that is generated on board. The last pillar is port reception facility. Ships are to carry garbage on board to ports for discharge. Therefore, ports have to provide the necessary facility for garbage disposal in an adequate manner. The underlying principle in this garbage management regime is Waste delivery from ships to ports. Although the IMO and member states have taken aforementioned initiatives, problems still exist. In fact, problems are getting more serious. Five, five million out of eight million items found at sea are from shipping. In the Netherlands, 90% of plastic found on the shore are from ship. In this light, Team Utopia today recommends proposal regarding MARPOL Annex 5. Fitting to the proposal of Marine Environment Protection Committee, we will make proposal that also lie on their foundation on the current strategic and outputs. To be more specific, we address SC6 to ensure the regulatory effectiveness and SC7 to ensure the organizational effectiveness. The next presenter will analyze the structural problem we would like to solve.
Thank you. Bearing in mind the imminence highlighted by the previous presenter, I would like to identify three structural problems that, it, that exist under MARPOL NX5. The first one is problems of garbage record book. The second, the absence of central system of communication. And the third, the absence of central database on garbage. Let's move on to the first. In principle, the garbage record book is to be recorded uh, on the date of incineration and, and discharge operations. The best implementation of this principle requires the accuracy and transparency of the information made as entries on the book. It also has to be convenient not only for the officer in charge who makes the entries, but also the master of the ship who confirms the information after entries are made. Currently, the garbage record book is an offline paper-based document. All the, inf uh, the required information includes date and time of discharges and uh, incineration, position of the ship, and the estimated amount discharged. All the entries here are made manually, which leaves room for uh, human error and foul entries. With the application of technology, uh, both the integrity of information and convenience can be enhanced uh, hugely. The second problem is the absence of central system of communication. In the status quo, ships fill out advanced notification forms so as to notify their port of call uh, the types of uh, garbage and the quantity of garbage that are planned to be discharged at the ports. In many cases, uh, uh, waste handling systems at ports are run by private operators independent from port authorities. With the same information and content that is filled out on the advanced notification forms, uh, documents are sent uh, separately to two entities. This causes two parallel systems of communication. One is port authority for, for the purpose of monitoring a ship's compliance to MARPOL NX5. The other is private operator, uh, so as to prepare for the actual discharge and for the purpose of invoicing ships. Uh, this results in unnecessary redundancy and administrative burden for ships and shipping agents. So there is a clear necessity to establish a central system of communication for the actors, which are ships, shipping agents, waste operators, and port authority. The last structural problem is the absence of central database on garbage. Currently, the garbage record book in principle is to be kept on board for the minimum of two years after the last entry is made. This makes it inconvenient for ships to uh, maintain it on board, but also it is very difficult for flag states and port state control to uh, in terms of monitoring and conducting inspections whenever necessary. From a different perspective, Team Autopia believes that this implies that it is impossible to gather uh, accumulated information on ship-generated garbage at a holistic level, at an international level. This means losing valuable opportunities of statistical analysis, which is essential in terms of planning uh, the right um, initiatives and planning the appropriate garbage management at the regional level and international level, such as global partnership on marine litter, which is co-governed by the United Nations and the IMO. Now let us move on to the last part, which is our proposal. Based on our analysis, we will provide a three-step solution. The first is about how to collect and record the information of garbage. The second is about the delivery of information to a central platform. And the third is about uh, how to utilize the information uh, converged. These mechanisms form one comprehensive garbage management solution built upon the principle of waste delivery from ships to ports. The first step is Team Utopia urges the digitalization of garbage record book. 
Following the outcome of MEPC 69 in 2016, the guidance for the use of electronic record books on the MAPO Annex 5, digitalization means the inclusion of three functions. One is role-based access control, which utilizes personal uh, login identifier. Two is the utilization of audit logging system, which records any and all access and modifications that are made on the data. Three, automatic entries of position and time by utilizing global positioning system. The digitalization of garbage record book is the foundation for the next two steps, which will be elaborated by the next presenter. The second step is real-time updates of information on GSIS. In detail, we propose onloading garbage record book to GSIS on real-time basis. To this end, we propose to make it mandatory for ships to have internet access on board. Utilization of GSIS, which is already existing, will significantly alleviate the administrative burden that each users have to bear. Not only garbage record book, but also advanced notification form should be also submitted to GSIS directly. This would further expedite the delivery of garbage from ships to port reception facilities. Now, technically speaking, we also suggest ships to be equipped with information technology continuity plan in case of any network failures. This plan enables data to be stored on ships' internal storage temporarily and then submit it directly to the GSIS as soon as the network is recovered. This second step would function as an effective bridge between ships and port reception facilities. The third step is establishment of garbage management database on GSIS. This step is about how the IMO should use the delivered data. As you can see on the screen, we suggest to establish garbage management as a new category under GSIS. This would be the central platform for communication and exchange of information. This new module of garbage management would be the final interface where all the relevant data is converged. The data include garbage record book, which has been digital digitalized by the first step, advanced notification form, as well as waste delivery receipt. In a nutshell, we propose to establish garbage management database on GSIS to include a comprehensive information that covers onboard garbage. This would function as a central platform for communications between various entities and can be used for various purposes, including statistical analysis as well as planning for future initiatives. To sum up, we've provided you with three-step package. First was digitalization of garbage record book. Second, real-time updates of information. And third, centralized information for communication. Now we're going to talk about how we're going to realize this three-step package by making amendments to Marple Annex 5. We'd like to address amendments one by one. First is for digitalization of garbage record book. We highly urge the committee to introduce a new clause to regulation number nine of Marple Annex 5. This new clause clearly stipulates the digitalized version of garbage record book as well as its reference guidance. The new clause states, every ship shall be equipped with digitalized garbage record book and necessary facilities in accordance with the principles and functions outlined in guidance under MALPO. Since garbage record book is digitalized and stored on GCS, ships are no longer required to keep the offline paper-based record book on board. Therefore, this clause C under operative clause 3 becomes obsolete. Therefore, we, we encourage the committee to delete this clause. Next, for real-time updates of information on GSIS, we highly recommend the committee to introduce a new clause under operative clause 3. The new clause reads, the garbage record book shall be automatically unloaded to its relevant module under GSIS, open to authorized institutions, public and secretariat and shall be equipped with fail-safe system in case of network failures 
for the purpose of real-time updates of information. In a similar vein, a re an amendment is required to the document of development of a standard advanced notification form submitted by the subcommittee flag state implementation. Previously, ships had to store the offline garbage record book on board for a certain period of time. However, since it is to be submitted to GSS directly, we recommend the committee to replace it with a new subclause. That is, that reads, through the submission of advanced notification form on the Global Integrated Shipping Information System, or GSS, at the earliest time possible on the principle of real-time communication basis. Ladies and gentlemen, the past 70 years have been handwritten. It is time to let the future be formed on GSS. Thank you. Okay, thank you, the team out of here for your nice presentation. Okay, Q and A session uh, will be uh, will be presided over by the Mr. Bak. Thank you for to the, your interesting presentations, and now we are have our questions to the Utopia team. Could you could you yeah Storytelian chain Storytelian chain first and see beyond. Second, I see the, the, the third is a C funks third. Okay. So Teddy and Chain first, you have the floor. Thank you, Chair, and thank you, Autopia, for your presentation. We support your idea of electronization the garbage book. So this is just a basic and simple question from my personal curiosity. Is there any possibilities of manipulation or fabrication of document by illegally disposing the garbage on the seas. Team Utopia appreciates the question raised by Team uh, Soterian Chain. Um, if there is any modification or change in the data, which is filled in the garbage record book that is digitalized, then there will be records of it because um, following the outcome of Marine Environment Protection Committee, uh, this the 69th session, which was held in 2016, uh, digitalization should include the function of audit logging system, which records any and all access and also the modification that is made on the data. Thank you for your answering. Okay, uh, next two is Thank you for your presentation, and I, um, this is Team C Beyond, and yeah, I fully agree on the necessity to have the database collected online. But I have one question: that um, as the amount of data is increasing and accumulated, um, like one of the biggest concern about the accumulated information is how to handle and manage the explosive amount of information. And also, like it is known that a lot of information has increased uh, due to the technological development. Only a few portions of the information that has increased is actually used. I mean, uh, only a few information actually generates a net uh, income or like extra values. So um, to sum up my point, uh, have you ever think or taken into consideration about the downside effects of accumulated information? Uh, team Utopia appreciates the question raised by Team C Beyond. Uh, I will explain or answer that question in two levels. The first level is uh, on the necessity to have the accumulated information. Currently, um, regional initiatives and international initiatives have already started on tackling down the marine litter issue. But the biggest challenge that these organizations or governments face is the lack of information, that uh, lack of information on garbage. Because especially with the problem of marine garbage, is that it flows around the globe. 
it doesn't stay on the same position. So these kind of informations can be predicted or analyzed based on the garbage record book. Secondly, with the flooding of um, data, uh, we agree that there should be uh, specific categorization of information and those specific technicalities can be uh, answered or addressed within the subcommittees of the IMO. But if Team C Beyond uh, agrees to the necessity, then uh, this team believes that it is okay to go. Thank you, C Beyond. The last questions to the C Fongs. C Fongs, you have the floor. Thank you, Chair. And um, thank you for the presentation. I strongly agree that the environmental issue is significant. Um, we're Team C Fungus, and this is the question from my curiosity. Um, well, it will be more transparent than the paper-based work, but will the GSIS is going to be transparent enough? Because what if only the certain amount of garbages are reported? Because it'll, um, the taking care of garbages is um, costing some time and money as well. So what if the, um, what if the ship just type the wrong number or wrong, wrong amount of garbage production in digitalized book. Thank you for the question raised by the team C Fungus. Regarding the question of the concern of whether there would be fault entries of information to the GCIS and its transparency issue, the team Utopia would answer with the function that digitalized garbage record book possesses. As the previous presenter has, or, uh, has mentioned, the digitalized gar garbage record book includes three technical functions, and one of them is automatic entries of dates and position of discharge using technologies like GPS. Therefore, uh, the team believes that that could be the answer for the first part of your question. And regarding the transparency of the GSIS and its relevant in information, the team believes that it can be well covered since the GSIS itself is monitored and checked and balanced by a lot of member states who compose those technology, and and that would cert, uh, significantly increase the transparency and uh, accountability of the information that is provided by GCIS. Thank you for your question. To add a little bit more about transparency of, on of GCIS, uh, GCIS is is one of the most transparent uh, database that is established within, within an international organization because we could um, access it and see the information um, uh, uh, freely. Um, so all the public users can also access the information. So I hope that answers the question. Thank you, Steve Fungus, or any, any question? Or it's time to the the church panel. Mr. Hong, you have the first floor. Uh, thank you, Utopia, for your very useful proposal. I think your proposal is very reasonable. Uh, this is very in line with the current status of the maritime sector. As you know, these days, the maritime sector is going to be changed into the digitalized situation in the near future. Uh, so if, if your proposal is come true in the near future, it will be very useful for many stakeholders to access to this information, including such kind of the waste operators, not only for the port authority or some of the other stakeholders. But uh, we need to think of some kind of benefit to the users such as uh, ship, uh, shipfarers or ship owners when we have to try to make some new policies. So uh, did you think of such kind of benefits for the shipfarers or ship owners when, when the IMO include this kind of new regulations? Uh, thank you for a constructive feedback and question. Uh, we'd like to answer the question in two levels. So first is about administrative burden that would be much alleviated by digitalized garbage record book. 
um, at the status quo, ship owners and the masters have to keep the offline garbage record book for two years. And it has to be ready for when inspections whenever necessary. However, when it's digitalized and automatically be uploaded to the central database, there will be much less administrative burden that each ship owner has to face. And second answer would be with regard to The second answer is regarding the personnel who actually has to make the entries. Um, we, based on our research, a lot of opinions of seafarers were it's very inconvenient to write it in handwriting uh, and also uh, uh, especially when you are discharging the litter or you're during the operation of incineration, you have to record the book. So. Uh, we want to uh, provide more convenience to the users by making more automatic entries, such as uh, dates and times, they can be automatically entered, position of the ship, which is latitude, longitude, they can also be entered automatically. So it provides more convenience for the users. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And uh, your, pro your idea would be very interested to the level of UNDP and UNEP as well as IMO. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. It's a time to close to the question and answer time. Thank you for your interesting presentation and question and answer time. Thank you. Okay, thank you again. The team out of here. <laughs>